giving you the 3D experience. Here, welcome back to 2D. We got a heck of a game. 715. Matt Barclay hit and sacked again. Devon Torrance makes another big play. Ohio State brought pressure with Barkley backed up near his own goal line. How about Torrance tonight that he has had? First time starter gets around Joe McKnight. Joe McKnight not quick enough to get out there. I don't know if he didn't recognize the blitz, but Torrance sneaks by him. Comes from the blind side to Matt Barkley. Penalty flag. Pointing at the clock. On the offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. They'll run it. McKnight searches for a hole and a fine run out to the 15 yard line, just beyond the original line of scrimmage, remember. Coleman. Making the stop. He's played very solid in that secondary tonight. Hasn't been beat. We haven't called his name a lot, but uh, guys have not begun opening in that secondary. McKnight's still in. Third down and nine, and here comes this crowd again. First down, McKnight and some. Out to the 37 yard line and a big first down pass to the running back. Number one, a great job on third down by the offensive line, finally giving Matt Barkley time to throw. And this is a mismatch. Mismatch. Barkley one on one with Ross Holman. Very tough for Holman to be able to stay with him. They've been looking to try to isolate McKnight on the linebackers. That time they did on a crucial third down. Has time, middle, wide open. Into Buckeye territory, Anthony McCoy, the big tight end. A dramatic drive, 25 yards. Again, the freshman has time to throw. Look at the scene. The safety went from the hash. Coleman, number four, as the ball was snapped, he's disguising coverage. He goes to the middle of the field. And look exactly where the young freshman decided to go, reading the safety, go to the middle of the field. It opened it up for McCoy to the seam. Sideline and overthrew Williams and out of bounds, so it'll be second down. Can't say enough about the poise. I know he's had to fight for everything tonight, Brent, but to be a true freshman in this kind of atmosphere and executing pretty well when given time and given support by his teammates. Toss sweep with McKnight. They stretch it out and run him out of bounds. That's Torrance again, number 10. Torrance this time fights off a block from Ellison, the tight end who's lined up as an H back. See him on the edge there trying to pick up a block. Look at 10 fighting off of him, giving up some size, but his intensity, nice play. Quick throw. Can they get the first down? He reaches for it, does Damien. See where they spot it. Just a little short. Right behind O'Dowd. Picks it up again. O'Dowd missed last week's game. An injured kneecap returned to practice on Monday and rule wasn't too sure how long he'd be able to go and here he is with 327 and he's still operating there at center an All-American center.
Barkley see, still seems to be favoring that, that right side. Playing through the pain, but he's definitely not at 100% out there. Night. So we look down on this record setting crowd here in Columbus and being provided by Goodyear, new Goodyear Fuel Max tires. Hope you get there on less gas. USC not only moving the ball, but eating clock along the way. Two and a half minutes to go. Both teams with two timeouts. Strategy will become a big factor here in the closing minutes. McKnight cuts back. First down. A beautiful cut with that peripheral vision of McKnight. Plays designed to go off to the left. This is a great look at the vision and patience. And then the burst by number four. Nice job of coming back and then accelerating upfield. Every yard at this point matters for SC as they close in towards the goal line. Matt Barkley driving for a possible Hollywood ending. Inside of two minutes, down five. Has time incomplete. Damian Williams was the intended target. Chuck Wong was the defensive back, number five. Handing off to McKnight, battling his way for the first down, and appeared to be just short of it. That was the 12th play of this drive. But Joe, Mc, Joe McKnight here just kind of glides, just kind of skips through there, just waiting to find a little bit of a crease to be able to get upfield. And the, all, the offensive line and the play calling right now, keeping Ohio State off balance. Instead of Ohio State pinning its ears, now they're a little bit more on their heels here. And again, I go all the way back to the McKnight play on third down, where he caught the ball out of the backfield. Remember, they had a second and 19 the Trojans did back on their own five before he escaped. This is some clutch drive being orchestrated by number seven. 80 yards in 12 plays. Trussell wondering if he's going to get any time left if they should score here. It'll be third and one. The ball is on the Buckeye six yard line. Cannot say enough about the poise of what we're seeing tonight, especially in this drive by USC and their freshman. But Joe McKnight has finally arrived in this football game, running the big catch there. I thought that was a big point in this football game and in this drive. And all of a sudden, they start to get Ohio State backpedaling, and that's where Joe McKnight and the offensive line to start to have a lot of success, picking up huge chunks of yardage. Third and one. Havili and McKnight. And again it is Barkley straight ahead behind O'Dowd. A first and goal with 111 to go. The ball is just outside the two-yard line. Stefan Johnson. He gets the first carry. He'll walk to the end zone. Trojans regain the lead. Sixteen fifteen. A minute oh five left on the clock for Terrell Pryor and the Buckeyes. Good throw to McKnight, picks it up. A three-point lead, 105 left on the clock for the Buckeyes. We'll be right back.